Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. I'm kind of excited because today is season one's finale. And uh, do not worry, All About Office 2013 is going to come back on season two uh, the following Tuesday. And I'm going to deal with a lot of Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, which a lot of you have been requesting to learn about more Outlook. Um, I'm going to leave a link right below the description of this video for you guys to click on and answer a question of what do you want to see more I'm also going to leave an annotation like right there that you can click on and it's going to take you to the site just a, a quick question if you guys don't want to click on the link or don't want to ask the question hey leave a comment right below right there and let me know what do you want to see of all about uh, Microsoft Office 2013 also uh, I do appreciate all support, guys. I'm I'm loving all the love. Please give me thumbs up because uh, they do count. I do appreciate that stuff. Please Twitter it, Facebook it, share this information to everyone because again, technology is power. And I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. Hey guys, so uh, with Windows 2013, one of the exciting features is the templates. Now we're going to explore the templates a little bit and when you first start Word, you're going to get this, okay? So you have several options. One of the main options that a lot of people would do would be blank document. But as you can see within the list, you have so many options to create templates from rather than you creating it your own. Now up on the top, if it's something that you don't like seeing here if you don't see anything that you like you can always go to the top and have suggested searches which you can search for letters resumes facts labels cards calendars blanks and what such such so what I'm going to do let's uh, I'm going to find uh, technology I don't know T technology let's just write technology and see what pops up for technology now you have about thousands and thousands of templates that you can search online. You don't really need to go inside your browser to find something. You can just use the built-in search. Now, I like uh, I like this one, the first one right here. You're able to click on it, and you get a nice little preview of how it looks. So this is pretty good. It looks like this is a cover sheet. Uh, you got, I'm going to close this out. Uh, let's see how the reporting looks. Okay, this is how the reporting looks. Uh, from here you're able to create it now when you create it it's actually gonna download it first and then it opens up and then you're able to edit and do whatever you need to do now if you're gonna use this particular temperate console you can actually pin it to your default so that means when you pin it and you close it when you go into your section right here you will see it okay so I'm actually gonna double click on this and I am going to create or download it to see how it looks and that's it guys this is how it downloads and you're able to modify it the way that you want it you're able to do a current page uh, and that's it so another cool feature within office 2013 especially with word 2013 is on-screen alignment guides with objects so let me explain I'll actually show you guys so I'm actually have the cursor right here right in the middle and I'm gonna insert a picture so I'm gonna go to picture go to my desktop and I'm gonna insert my logo and there we go now as you can see you get a nice little dialog box right here on the corner plus little handles if you put your mouse over it it allows you to uh, expand it or you know resize it now I'm gonna go to the layout options and what I wanna do is I want top to bottom okay and then top to bottom you're able to move the text or fix position on the page now I want to keep the object in the same place on the page as text is added or deleted so this is what I want okay and then from here I want to you know let's let's resize it now pay close attention to what just happened you see these little green lines that just popped up those are your guidelines guys so when I'm resizing it is perfectly aligned to the paragraph to the margin so that's pretty cool I'm able to move it around and as you can see there it goes see that alignment I'm perfectly centered within the page the same thing goes to here so if I take it right there on the right hand side on the alignment it's perfectly matched so that's pretty cool now I'm put it right in the middle 
and the same thing goes if I expand it this way see the alignment I'm perfectly aligned to the right and left so that's pretty cool so I'm gonna do a control Z control Z to put it in the center now another cool thing about the alignment is let's say I want to insert an image right here so I'm gonna go insert and I'm gonna insert the same image which is my logo and it's really big it's huge but uh, if you take your mouse and you put it over to any of the anchors you get the double-sided uh, arrow and it allows you to shrink it down which is a good thing and we'll shrink it down to the point to there okay that's good and if you take the mouse and you click right in the middle you get the four-sided arrows which allows you to move it around but what I want to do is I want to change the layout so with the layout let's make the layout let's say square so that's pretty cool now because I choose layout of options for square as you can see you see that guide right there I'm perfectly aligned to that sen that uh, that sentence as well as I'm in the middle of the page that's a pretty cool feature for it but this is pretty cool I'm, I'm just enjoying it like right now I am totally censored with the first line of the paragraph plus the right hand of the margin so that's about it guys that's uh, the new feature of the on-screen uh, guide alignments with uh, objects